One of the most critical items that should come with us on any outdoor adventure is a physical map of the area we are recreating in. Maps can demystify whether you turn left or right at the junction. They can confirm the name of a nearby pond or answer the age-old question, how far is it? In addition to being an essential navigational tool, tangible maps also serve as mementos of our adventures and even guide us to explore new and interesting places. Whether your destination is only a mile from the trailhead along a popular trail or a secluded summit deep in the backcountry, taking a map with you helps you verify checkpoints along your journey. While there are many different types of maps to choose from, topographic maps work best for outdoor recreation. These maps depict our three-dimensional world in a two-dimensional way with the assistance of contour lines. Contour lines reveal the topography or features of a landscape. Each line represents the same elevation above sea level. On this map they are brown, but they may appear differently on other maps. When these lines are packed tightly together, that represents a rapid elevation change over a short distance. The landscape will be incredibly steep there. When the contour lines are spread further apart, the terrain in that region will be more gentle and easier to traverse. Beware when contour lines are extremely far apart as you may be entering a wetland. In addition to their distribution, the shape of the contour lines tells us something about the landscape as well. Find a stream on your map and look closely. Note how the contour lines form V-shapes in the valleys with the tip of the V pointing upstream. Conversely, look for a ridge coming down from a mountain summit. Notice how ridges form U-shapes with the base of the U pointing downhill. Waterfalls, lean-tos, land units, and roads are all depicted on topographic maps. If you're not sure what a particular symbol on the map represents, reference it in the map's legend to decipher what it means. Before you leave home, do some trip planning in advance. Trace your finger along your intended route from your starting point to your destination to see what features your path encounters. Knowing these landmarks in advance will increase your confidence and improve your decision making on the day of the outing. Use your map to count the contour lines between your starting point and your destination. That way, you can accurately calculate elevation gain for the day. While you're at it, make note of the trail mileage or measure the total distance of your design adventure by using the scale in the map key. These data points will help your group understand the requisite demands of the journey. It's always best practice to leave this detailed itinerary with a loved one back home. A word about cell phones. While useful for planning at home, a cell phone should not be your sole source of navigation in the backcountry. If your phone dies, which can happen quickly in cold weather, or breaks on a rock, then you will have nothing to refer to if you get lost. Always have a physical map in your backpack in case something goes wrong. Besides, though devices can fail and our cell phones can run out of batteries, a physical paper map never runs out of style.